Hello everybody and subscribers, new viewers, uh, welcome to the Kenny Hack. Figured uh, what the heck, let's give it a try. Um, see this here is the image I'm doing. It's 7 inches wide by 11 inches tall. Uh, I like cutting on the Y axis so I got the long way going up and down. You can see right there that's uh, 350 inches per minute which is 9,000 millimeters per minute pretty much the max this machine can run I think 354 is exactly 9,000 and I'm only at 35 percent power um, so let me say I got a lot of room to go on the power on my diode uh, running at the 250 um, line spacing, the interval. That's what that point zero zero four is, 250 dpi. Right now you can see at this settings, it's going to take just under an hour to get it done. and running newsprint dither you can see all my settings right there um, I, just find, I did a bunch of test runs doing partial images and newsprint just does the best job at getting the lighter tones in there the other dithers just can't running at these high speeds they just cannot get that light tone in there so that's where I'm running figured what the heck it's time to push the 9000 the maximum speed that these uh, or tours are programmed to run just to prove it can be done as you can see I'm running a bit of over scan I got about a quarter inch of over scan um, just so it, it has a little room to slow down and speed back up at the end. As you can see, I'm about 10-20% uh, the way done through the image in about 11 minutes. You can see so far the image is turning out pretty good. We'll clip back at the end when it's all over. You can see I don't, I don't have the frame bolted down at all. There is nothing holding the frame in position. And you can see how smooth the machine is running. This machine has absolutely no problem running at 9,000 millimeters per minute, 150 millimeters per second. Which if you watch a lot of the CO2 machines when they're trying to cut images, this is, they're usually in the 200 millimeters per second, 250 millimeters per second. From the videos I've seen anyways, when they're trying to cut images, they have to slow way down to try to burn a good image. I have plenty of room to speed up if the programming would allow it. And that's how well that aging stain I use works. There is literally can take a diode powered machine and run it up into the CO2 speed range if these machines were built to run that speed. You know, this is all stock materials. I haven't, I got the materials to upgrade the belts, upgrade the rollers, and do a bunch of upgrades, but this is just a standard Ortour machine, Ortour 20 watt. It's having absolutely no problems cutting a good image and running at that, that super, the maximum speed it's set to run using that aging stain I use. This has a 50% Kenny Hack aging stain as a base coat. And then I put on a really heavy coat of the latex whitewash that I covered in the last video to whiten it back up to it's still darker than the stock wood color but overall it's pretty white 
I could, you know, given the power I'm running, I could have put another coat of whitewash and got it even whiter and still maybe only had a bump up to 40, 45 percent. But we'll see, I'll clip back here at the end. It's only going to take an hour to print this whole image, which is about a standard 8 by 11 photo, which if you were trying to run this photo down in the 3,000 millimeter range, uh, millimeters per minute, without any of my pretreatment, you would probably be running about a 80 to 100 percent power. So at best, you'd have been looking at about a three hour job. This is taking it down to a one hour job. And if you're like me, you're in the, you're trying to produce good, good quality images at a sellable price to your customers. This is the way to go, in my opinion. I was like, I, I'm still trying to find a better solution than what this is that doesn't have the staining effect. I'm still working on it. Maybe somebody else will find it. Um, seems like a lot of people are starting to try different uh, treatments on the wood to see if there's something else that will work better. But so far, uh, this aging stain, like I said, it's been around for a long time in woodworking, but it seems to work wonders for laser engraving. So, like I said, we'll clip back at the end. We'll see how the final quality turns out. Get back to it. So as you can see, we're about uh, three quarters of the way through, 80% of the way through. Um, actually, it says 71. Um, here's kind of why, um, if you see me in the forums and on my videos, I'm usually running at 250 millimeters or inches per minute. And here's kind of why. Uh, I set this back to 250 and took the over scan off and it went from an hour to an hour and 20. So that is why typically I don't run the machine up this high is running at this high a speed I feel it probably needs some over scan so it has a little room to overrun and just adding a quarter inch on the ends that adds enough time to the machine that I can slow it down to 250 and only take an extra 20 minutes so for me that little bit of extra time isn't probably worth the wear and tear of going up to the, the 350 inches per minute now if or tour these diode makers would bulk up these machines and make sure they put the higher quality belts the high quality rollers maybe better uh, stepper motors that we could start running these up into the, the 12,000 millimeters per minute and plus where I'd be doubling and cutting this time in half and getting it down to 45 minutes now that would be worth the step up in speed but given right now that Ortur doesn't even recommend going over 3000 just because I'm sure they felt no, there was no way to carve good images above that speed not that the machine can't do it, but just without without any kind of pretreatment to make the laser burn better, at this speed the laser wouldn't even be putting a dent on the wood if it was just bare wood. It, even on the blackest layer it might just start being leaving a faint hint of a, a mark. So that that's kind of where we're stuck at right now that even with the power of just a 20 watt diode it is capable of doing a lot more than what it's programmed to run right now so hopefully in the future as they come out with more upgrades and better machines maybe they'll start building machine that can run 
at even higher speeds and not have to worry about it damaging anything. Um, like I said, it, this is only, it's, it can only run these high speeds doing these really long passes. I'd never run this fast if it was having to do some line work in really rapid line movements and direction changes. There's, this machine would be jumping all over the place if it was trying to do all that. This is only works making these super long passes. So that's that's the warning to put out there. It's like the, this only has a certain application to run at this speed, but it is doable. So figured that's why I'd put that in there and why I don't always run at this super high speed just because with the overscan you have to put into it to kind of protect the machine from doing damage to itself that extra time almost makes it worth just slowing down a little bit and not needing the overscan it's like if I went back to here and change this back to 350 with no overscan before it was one hour Oop. Oop, 350 you can see running in the X versus the Y how much that changed it let's change this back running in the Y direction with the 350 and now with no overscan you know, that's still showing an out 1 hour 19 it, I don't know what changed on there oh I got the DPI is wrong that's changed that to 350. Let's take that back to 250 and 350 over scan or speed. So that over scan really only added about three or four minutes to it. It didn't add a lot, but it still only gained me 20 minutes. And so that's that still is is it worth putting the extra load on the machine for saving 20 minutes? I don't know that that's a a personal choice and would be up to the user you know how if you're not worried about if you damage your machine and you got a backup on hand that you're ready to take over and use the first one for parts and get new parts ordered yeah it might be and you got a lot of orders to fill it might be worth running at that extra speed just for the extra production rate you can do but right now this is probably far beyond what anybody's even coming close to running for doing production work so okay that's where we're at right now I'll show you the final results when I'm done so there's the final result um, it does get a little grainy in sections um, I'd say mostly that's due to the quality of the photo uh, if I had found a nice high definition photo um, the quality probably would have been a little bit better and also I was cutting with the grain of the wood I kind of find that if you cut across the grain I think it does produce a slightly better image uh, than burning with the grain um, but just since I was running at such high speeds and I wanted to reduce the amount of direction changes I figured I'd go ahead and run it with the grain on this project just to reduce the overall amount of direction changes just because even for me running at 9000 is pushing this machine to the to its probably limits of power delivery and everything else it's like I'd never want to run that fast if I was having to run at a hundred percent power if you were putting a full load 
on the power supply. Um, these Orteurs don't seem to have the best power supplies that come stock standard with them. And I don't know if you'd over end up overpowering the power supply. So it was uh, kind of a even a risk reward to even run that speed, but I just wanted to prove this myth of you can only produce good images with diodes running at really slow and slow speeds and they're only for hobby work that they're not made for any kind of production speed is getting to be more and more of a myth I mean these things are capable of doing really good quality work at higher speeds than what people believe they are possible and if you have using that aging stain I use called a Kenny hack just for a name to give it um, it is possible to do it and as I continue to make improvements on the technique of it and lightening the wood back up it's getting better and better all the time and once again thanks for joining me um, like share comment um, if there's anything you got questions on, go ahead and ask in the comments. I try to answer everybody I can if you got any questions. And uh, thanks for uh, joining in on this test.